Hi, welcome back to Advanced Software Engineering. We will be talking about project estimation today. Now this is where all the magic comes together. You have a customer who wants to hire you to carry out some software development for them. And they ask you for a preliminary budget and for how much this is going to cost. And you give them a blank stare and you're like, ooh, I don't know. How am I going to start estimating? So of course, experience is going to make that easier. But there's also a number of rules of thumb that we can use and a couple of techniques. And that's what we'll visit today. So first of all, you want to break down your resources. So you have your project. And you know, you're going to need people to program that thing. I mean, maybe you're a one person company, maybe people is just you. You also have an environment where you need to do this in your software tools, your development environment. And then you may be able to reuse some software. Now let's look at each of those. For the people, we need to understand what are the skills of those people. We also need to understand where they are located. Are all my developers coming in every day? Are they working from home, flexible hours? Are they sitting in a different country, different time zone? All of that is interesting. And then also, how many people do I have? So just the number. For the environment, um, I need to know what kind of software tools am I going to need to develop this project. I need to understand what kind of hardware I'm going to need. Is the system that I'm developing running on a specific piece of hardware? Is it just going to be running on a mobile phone or on a desktop? Or is it going to be some kind of embedded system? Do I need special hardware to develop this? And uh, on top of that, what are the network resources that I'm going to need? So we got two. And then the third part, reusable software, we don't want to start from scratch. We don't want to reinvent the wheel anytime we start a new project. So maybe there are some libraries that we can use. Maybe there are some off-the-shelf components that we may be able to use and maybe adapt. So we may have some partial or full experience components. And then, of course, or most likely, there will be some new components that we have to develop. So with this overview of the resources that I'm going to need, I already have a better overview of how much effort I'm going to be spending. I can understand how many people are in my pool. Am I maybe going to have to hire some more? Where are they location based? Uh, what does that mean for the communication within the project and for the communication with the customer? What is their skill set? Do I have enough people for front end and back end and um, in between? Do I need to hire a specialist because we're dealing with some new kind of hardware that I have never used before? Am I going to have to acquire some new software tools that help me carry out the development? Am I going to have to buy some supercomputer time because this is going to be a very resource intensive algorithm that I'm going to be working on. And then for the reusable software, what can I buy off the shelf that is better to buy than for me to put the time and effort in for developing it myself? What is something that I have developed, uh, that I have developed in the past that I may be able to reuse or adapt? And what are the components that I truly have to develop from scratch? And then 
based on all of these resources, I'll look at the system vision that I have for my project. So all of these are the resources. And then I take my system vision that I agreed on with the customer and I can break it down into components. I can maybe break those components down into functions or if that is not possible, I can break them down into use cases. And all of those breakdowns are just for me to estimate how much effort is each of them going to take and then multiplying it by the number of use cases or functions that I have and getting to an overall estimation of how much effort is needed to implement that system vision. So these methods are all breakdowns. And then we perform an estimate per breakdown unit. For example, for a use case, we have to figure out what is the number of hours that goes into the development of that use case. Number of hours of development. And the other thing we need to know, if we want to get to the project budget, if I look at all of those resources, I need those underlying costs and definitely how much I'm going to pay my developers. And then plus the percentage of all of these overall resource costs. And with that, I get to an overall estimate of my project. I'm going to make this some sign here just to say that we're going to do this over all the use cases. Estimate for entire project. There are a few more formulas that we can use for that. And um, they are provided in the slides along with this course. I'm not going to go into detail of all of them, but this is very much the generic breakdown. We take the system vision and then we choose one method of breakdown that we are most experienced with or that lends itself best to the type of system we're developing. And then we estimate per unit how many hours is that specific use case going to be, how much is that developer costing us that we need with the expertise for implementing that type of functionality, and then a percentage of the overall resources. And by uh, accumulating that over all use cases, we get to an estimate for the entire project.